perineum is the region between the legs and it extends from the pubic symphysis to the coccyx. We can see that in the anterior part of the perineum, in the female, we find the external genitalia of the female, also referred to as the vulva. In the posterior region of the perineum, we find the, the anus. Anterior to the pubic symphysis, there is a, a fleshy mound, which you can see is well padded with adipose tissue. And this fleshy mound is referred to as the mons pubis. Extending posteriorly from the mons pubis, there are two cutaneous folds. And in this model, we can only see one side. And the folds goes all the way back over here to where you find the perineal body. These folds are referred to as the labia majora. Between the labia majora, there are two smaller cutaneous folds that are hairless. They extend from the clitoris to the perineum also and enclose an opening which is referred to as the vestibule. And opening up into this vestibule, we have the opening of the urethra and the opening of the vagina. In the anterior of the vulva, where the labia minora come together, we find the clitoris. In this model, if we remove this part, we can get a better view of the clitoris, which is right over here. Anterior to the clitoris, you can see a fold of tissue coming from the labia minora, which forms a hood anterior to the clitoris. This is the prepuce of the clitoris. Erectile tissue, such as this one right over here, that is associated with the clitoris and extends over onto the pubic arch. This would be the crus of the clitoris. And right over here, there is more erectile tissue. This erectile tissue is referred to as the bulb of the vestibule or the vestibular bulb. Right over here, in a posterior location, is the greater vestibular gland. It's also known as Bartholin's gland. And it secretes mucus which empties into the vestibule. Now, we remove this part. We can see some of the structures associated with this area, including the pubic symphysis, which is right over here, right posterior to the mons pubis. Here is the urinary bladder. And here you can see the urethra. And right over here is the uterus, here's the cervix, and right over here is the vagina.